Hello guys, it's me DeepPink243 and welcome back to yet another episode of po of Let's Play Pokemon Rose Blind. Um I'm in for a rough fucking time here because um the first gym is grass type and I have a water type that is about to evolve into a water ground type and that's really bad for me. So I need to catch another Pokemon if I want to stand a chance. As shitty as the options are, I think I need to rely on them. Can I get at least a, a decent flying type? Like, you know, that would help me out tremendously. And not do shitty grass and bug types. Oh, I found an ether. Um, I didn't get that in the last episode, but, um... I guess I didn't notice it, but... Bellsprout. Well, I guess I could catch Bellsprout, um... Oh, that was close. So yeah, I guess I could catch Bellsprout because it is a decent enough grass type, um... I don't know what I could call it, though, um... Hmm. Wait, did, was it just logged in as like the 69th Pokemon in the Pokedex? If it was, then... <laughs> um, that's bad. Um... Let's see, what kind of nickname would you get? You're a female. Um, I think I have a decent name for you, um, if it could even fit. There, Poison Ivy. Alright, our Grass and Poison type, um... Bold Nature. I don't remember what that increases, but I know that it's not a neutral nature. I know that for sure. But anyway, it's now time for your guys' favorite uh, pastime in Pokemon games. Um, fucking grinding. And no, I'm not. I'm not speeding up or cutting out any of the shit out because that would just ruin the experience, now would it? If I'm gonna suffer through this, then I'm going to take my viewers with me. <laughs> 
but... You know, I think Poison Ivy could take care of the Sunkern by itself. Because four types resist Absorb and... Um... Um... I, I hope that it can actually do the job. Maybe a crit would be nice. I don't know, I, I, I did about like half of Sunkern's HP with, um, that's without the absorb healing, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch over. Sorry, Poison Ivy, but you're not exactly strong enough to do this. So, Finn, we are going to help our friend here. Okay, that's a lot better of damage. And Growl doesn't even matter, because the only attack that I have is a special attack, so... Oh, looks like we're speed-tied. Yeah, now there's some good experience. It was just enough for Poison Ivy to gain a level. I didn't... I didn't notice that. <laughs> kind of weird how Splash has the... Now has the text of, like... So-and-so is unaffected by it. I don't know. Any bit of experience I could get on Poison Ivy will help me in the long run. So, I don't know, maybe I should've, um, did this whole thing off-screen. But I didn't want to introduce our new team member in that way. I wanted to do it legitly and just... It feels kind of wrong to do it off-screen, you know? At least I, I find it feel wrong. Oh, I didn't mean to use water gun. I was not paying attention, but it doesn't matter. Sunkern sucks. It doesn't lift through that at all. But I will consider the fact that, um, I will consider, um, doing any more sort of grinding off-screen, because it is a pain to watch. Oh, and also, um, 
I'm actually recording a whole bunch of episodes in bulk, um... So I'm actually recording this on the same day that that I recorded episode 2, um... Which I will say, that was fucking ridiculous how Team Rocket is just, um, actually competent. So yeah, I'm like... If I was gonna get back into this, I'm, I'm going to record it in bulk, because, um... I was really wanting to do this for a long time, since episode 1. It, it's just something I, I wanted to go back to. It's, I love Pokemon, and it's, it's like... I always get a fresh new experience when I play a ROM hack that I've never played. See, so Poison Ivy learned growth, but I don't think that's gonna help in this situation. So yeah, what's even better about this is that Finn is actually getting experience along with Poison Ivy and... It might be able to get to level 15 before the gym, um... Not like I'm gonna use him though. Okay, now Poison Ivy can actually take care of the Sunkern with a few growths, um... So I'll just max out on my special attack and then go nuts with with uh, Vine Whip. So fun fact, I've actually used I've actually used the Bell Sprout line before, not Bell Sprout itself, but I've I've used Weeping Bell and Victory Bell before in a, in a game. I'm not gonna say what that is, though. Because that Pokemon game could be a future Let's Play of mine. You, you never know. So, how are we doing on special attack? I haven't really been paying attention because, um... My eyesight is focused on... The mic for the most part, um... So, I've used four, okay. So, two more. Or if you don't know, in Pokemon, um, you can have up to six stages of boosted stuff into each stat um, at a time. So you can max out on your special attack, for example, by raising it up by six stages. Just like that. So now I'm going to be doing a shit ton of damage to the Sunkern. So yeah, that's one shotting it. So haha, the stalemate of the century is over. I can actually start using this thing to take out Pokemon now, which is really good. So I think I'll have like 20 minutes of this and then cut the rest of it out and in episode 4 we'll be showing off Poison Ivy's new new status in terms of level. I think I'm gonna get Poison Ivy to like level, level 13 and then take on Jim. Because even though Poison Ivy has some pretty good attacking stats, um... They won't matter unless if I actually train this thing up. And so... Yeah, if you don't know, I'm gonna be using this thing for the entire gym. 
That, that's what I'm planning on, but since this is a, a blind let's play, that could go wrong very easily. Oh, special attack won't go any higher. Well, let's just fuck this thing up already. So yeah, this is just kind of one of those episodes where I just ramble on a lot, um... Not really paying attention to what's on screen, necessarily, but, um... But you know, like, it's good whenever I get the chance to, like, talk a lot, because, um... It helps with my commentary. And, oh man, we have the rabbit raccoon, let's fuck this thing up. Let's fuck this thing up southern style. <laughs> oh man, I, I feel sorry for everyone who lives in the, in the south. I just offended you all. Um, I, I am in deep apologies. But another sun current we must fuck up. Um, so, growth time. I know that I'm now like level 7 and could probably do only like 4 growths and then... and then find one for 1 hit KO, but I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll test it out and see if it works. Actually, I might stop at 3 stages. Which is right now, um... Go! Fine whip! Okay, that is a one go Nice! So, it wastes less of my time, it wastes less of y wastes less of your time, if we can get this thing done faster. Unless if- unless if your name is Ladybug and I have to switch out, um... Oh, it actually lived, um... See, yeah, even as a but special defense isn't- isn't that bad in the early game. It's just that when I say that it's shitty, I- I do mean by in, like, the long term of the journey. So by the time you get to, like, the end of the game, um... Of any Pokemon game, uh, Ladybug's stats just do not work out for those. Times. And also, Bug Flying just has a lot of weaknesses that it could be exploited with as a type. Like, it's really bad against Rock, um... You know, weakness is the ice, electric, fire... Yeah, it's just... It's... it's not very good. But yeah, boosting your stats a lot does make a difference in a fight. It allows you to deal with situations you wouldn't be able, wouldn't be able to deal with otherwise. Such as the case where, um, well, Sunkern absorbs its ass off. And we're reaching a 20 minute mark, um, I'll finish up this battle and then we're gonna be done for episode 3.
So lastly, you've uh, li li lived the war gun, so this one should have been able to, and yes, it does. All right, so with level eight for poison ivy, I think we'll end this thing off here. Um, next time on Pokemon, on let's play Pokemon Rose Blind, we are going to take on the gym after I grind off screen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Take care as always, and goodbye.